as you know, we're migrating our volunteer system. And I know it's a little bit of a lift in the beginning, but I promise you it's going to be a lot easier. So over the last couple of years, I've been with SRG for five years. And over the last five years, I've been with um, the Greenways Association. Our volunteer numbers have just skyrocketed. We started with, you know, our main core of trail keepers helping us maintain the trail. And then a wonderful VISTA started the trail ambassador program that I had the honor to take over and continue to run and work with all of you wonderful volunteers. Um, and I'm sure many of you know, who, especially our longtime trail ambassadors, um, you know, our, our logging systems were never perfect and we've always done our best. And, you know, we used to apply via paper copies that people would mail in and um, you drop off their pages of papers with forms. So we went paperless and kind of tried to make it easier on both you and us to maintain our hours and our tracking. And um, as it our numbers just continue to grow and grow. And through this pandemic, people have really turned to the outdoors more and we've gotten just, you know, exponential growth during this past year of 2020 and 2021. Um, so we were looking for a way to really help our core trail ambassadors, but then we started to recognize that it's kind of an SRG, um, it's a need that SRG has throughout all programs, whether it's child maintenance or event preparation for the sojourn or ride for the river. This is really helping us better serve the community and better communicate and serve, communicate with and serve our volunteers. So um, we're gonna walk you through tonight on how to get um, oriented with the system, how to get signed up. I know that many of you have had you know, a swimming process and you're all ready and signed up. <laughs> you can start logging hours once you're in. And um, anybody who has uh, further questions can, um, you know, reach out to me, if, especially if you're a trail ambassador. And Jillian Clementi, our VISTA, will be with us um, until May, and she will be able to help volunteers as well. So um, we're excited to present this to you, and I hope that you all like it. And I'll turn it over to Mika now. Actually, first, I'm going to turn it over to Jillian and let her introduce herself. Hi, uh, as Sarah said, my name is Jillian Clementi. I'm the 2020 to 2021 VISTA here at SRG. And uh, I've been helping everyone out, trying to figure out how to do this process. And Galaxy Digital um, really seems the best way. Uh, and I really hope that this webinar can help you guys uh, make this transition a lot smoother for us. All right. Hello everyone again, my name is Mika Patterson. I am the Schuylkill River Greenways Communications Director. And I just wanted to show you um, kind of how you can get to the new volunteer portal from the SRG website. So on the website, there is a volunteer page. It's simply schuylkillriver.org slash volunteer. Um, and so as soon as you get to that page, you'll see this big old um, image saying SRG Volunteer Portal. You can click this image. You can click this text right here. You can also click this button that says Volunteer Sign Up slash Login, and it will take you to this page. If you're a new volunteer, that means you've never volunteered with us before and you need to sign up as a volunteer, you'll go through this process. You do have an option to sign up with your Facebook account, or you can just go in here and enter these um, this information. If you are already a volunteer, all you would do is click this login button here at the top. And so um, you'll just have to enter your email and your password for this portal. Um, I recommend that once you sign in once you say remember me, it's easiest for me so that I don't have to keep inputting this information. So I just click this little checkbox um, every time. Well, not every time, the first time. And then every time I go to this page, it remembers me and automatically logs me in. I just wanted everyone to be aware of that. I also wanted you to be aware that um, I will try my best to list on the volunteer page of the SRG website. Um, just something also to recognize, you can always click this button here when you're on the volunteer portal page for Galaxy Digital, and it will take you back to the SRG website. Um, so once you're back on the volunteer page, there is a section for, that says sign up for upcoming opportunities. Um, you can, I'll try to keep this updated. I say that just because sometimes pa um, time passes pretty quickly and I, I don't get to update it as often as I want to. But right now I have two of our um, upcoming volunteer opportunities listed. I have the Earth Day cleanup 
and I have the Open Trails Day cleanup happening in April. So you can click on these and it will take you to the page in Galaxy Digital and you can sign up for this event um, just by kicking, clicking this button. So I'll go over this process a little bit more later, but I just wanted you to be aware that you can um, go into and, and uh, sign up from there as well. You can also at the bottom, it says for more volunteer opportunities, click here to view the SRG volunteer calendar. So you can click on here and it takes you to a really cool calendar that lists all of our opportunities. So um, it also lists our events. So like today, you can see that this is the volunteer training. You can see on the 16th, this is the Earth Day. If there's more, there's several on there, you can just click on that and it'll tell you which ones um, are on there. And so you would just click into that to learn more information and to actually sign up for any of those or if it's an event to RSVP. So that's something I just wanted to make you aware of. So if you are a current volunteer, um, you should have received an email like this that said, welcome to Galaxy Digital. And then it had steps for how to activate your account. So I'm just gonna go through that just in case anyone was not able to do that yet and maybe had um, some questions on how to actually activate your account. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is you are going to click on that link um, that was in here. And then you are going to put your email and the password that they give you in that, in that email. So I'm gonna do that right now. The password, and then I'm going to log in. Hopefully it works for me. It does work for me. So when you logged in, um, since you're a current volunteer, it, um, it took you, um, I guess, I'm hoping this is where it took everybody else, but it took me to my profile page, just if I wanted to update any information. Um, I'll go over this a little bit more. Um, you have the option to add your email, your phone number. I'm just so of course you would put your email in here and then you would update that. And then you're good to go. So that's what you would do if you're a current volunteer. If you're not a current volunteer, you would go through that sign up process. Um, and so you would put all your name and your email and then I will also ask you kind of what your interests are. Um, you know, like, do you like trail maintenance? Do you like environmental education? Um, I'll ask you if you have any special skills, like if you like gardening or you're a photographer, and that will help match you with different um, volunteer programs and opportunities. So that's just for anyone who is new and hasn't signed up yet, just for something for you to know. So once you um, are logged in or signed up, you can go to your dashboard. The dashboard is where you will go from here on out when you're officially, um, after you log in for the first time. So right now this cool message comes up because I haven't signed up for any opportunities or um, liked any programs yet. But once you do, you'll start seeing information in here. You'll see your volunteer hours. Once you start tracking them, um, you'll see how many volunteer opportunities with your needs that you've responded to. Have you responded to any events? Um, if you liked any programs, I'll go into that a little bit more. You'll also notice something called this little red bar here. It's something known as a highlight. So occasionally we'll highlight certain information on here, just that, um, which are things that we wanna promote or, or make you aware of. Currently, Sarah updated the Trail Ambassador Manual and she just wants everyone to be aware of that. And so to view that, you would just click here um, you would just click here uh, to view that Trail Ambassador Manual. If you scroll down, um, depending on what you chose for your interests and if you listed any special skills, I'll suggest certain opportunities for you. Um, and so you can click on any of these. We'll go into this more. You can also just click the view more to view more of the opportunities. Scroll down again, 
you'll see the latest events that we've posted here. You know, we have today's training and then we also have a thank you event that we are doing on May 13th. You can RSVP right from here for that event. If you scroll down even more here on the right side, you'll see recent opportunities that we are listed that are listed. Um, so you can click any one of these or you can click the view more button to see all of them. Here is kind of just like a community slideshow of our programs and things. Um, some pages you can click on and it'll take you to our social media pages. Um, here you'll see a list of some of our programs. So programs, I'll go into that a little bit more, but they're just kind of like the, the overreaching topics that we list volunteer needs under. Um, so you can click on any of these to learn more. And you can also click here to view all of the programs. Um, so that's your dashboard. And I think next we are going to go to programs. So um, you can click that um, view more button that I just showed you, or also you can get to any of these things just by this like left hand side menu. Um, you can click on programs. So like I said, programs are just kind of like the, the subjects, the, the topics. So um, for example, we have a uh, trail maintenance program. And if you click on that, um, you can learn more about what we do as far as trail maintenance. And then there might be some some volunteer needs that you can sign up for under that. Um, if you click become a fan, um, basically um, when you click become a fan, you like that program. And that means anytime an opportunity about trail maintenance is posted here, you'll get some type of a notification. Um, in your inbox. And so, you know, if we could post a cleanup day under trail maintenance, you know, you'll get an email or a notification that says, hey, just so you know, um, trail maintenance has an upcoming opportunity in case you're interested for volunteering for it. So that's what that is for the become a like button. Um, I'm going to click into the trail maintenance program. And I'll tell you a little bit more information about it. Um, you know, you can see kind of what interests um, so if you chose that you're interested in trail maintenance, um, this will probably be a suggested um, program and opportunity for you. Um, if you scroll down, you can see the opportunities. Remember, opportunities are needs that you can actually sign up for. And you have some the contact information or the, the location information here on the side. So there's a trail ambassador program as well. And if you're a trail ambassador, you'll want to become a fan of that. So you get any um, alerts or updates about this program. Um, but to actually be a trail ambassador and to be able to log hours as a trail ambassador, you'll wanna scroll down to this opportunity section and you'll wanna click here where it says view details or you can also click on the name. And so um, kind of the same information here, it tells you some of the qualifications that are required um, to be a trail ambassador, these are some of the things that you're going to have to do when you sign up or when you try to sign up. Um, you know, it tells you here that you have to be 18 or older. You know, this is something that you're going to be doing outdoors. Um, and then if you want to sign up for it, you're going to click this button. Um, and yes, um, something that everybody will have to do, whether they are a trail ambassador or not, when they respond or sign up for an opportunity is sign the SRG waiver. You know, typically, if you go to one of our events and you haven't signed the waiver, you have to do this person. Now you can do it beforehand online. Um, so you have to just put in your, your uh, date of birth um, and then you would click submit birth date. And then um, you would click continue. And then you're going to scroll down here and you're just going to put your name. And you're going to put your date of birth again. You only have to do it this way the first time. And then after this, it's just a checkbox that says you understand you're agreeing to the waiver again. But the first time you have to read it and fill in these um, slots here. And then today's date, if I remember, it's the sixth, right? And then after you do all of that, you're going to say complete signing. Um, do you consent to signing this, deck, this document? Sorry, I can't talk. This document electronically, you would say yes. So there's um, a few extra steps for anyone who's a trail ambassador that they have to do before they can start logging hours as a trail ambassador. Um, you're going to say, what are you most free for an interview? Um, and you can just pick whatever date that is. Um, if you want to 
please complete this agreement and upload the PDF. So if you have a uh, the volunteer SRG ambassador volunteer agreement, which I think Sarah has shared with you to do, you would upload that file. And then um, if you have an updated state background check, so you would just click on here and you'll be able to go to your computer that's saved on your desktop or something. I'm just gonna click something. This is not actually what she needs, <laughs> but I'm gonna click on it so that you can kind of see, um, but you would actually find the actual document that she needs. So real quick, yeah. yeah. Um, so if you are already ambassador, and I know all your names very well, <laughs> you will select current ambassador, and then you should have your form. If you click that blue hyperlink, that is the form. And I did send the fillable PDF in an email, which you just, you know, fill out and save. And then the background check, you do have to go to the website, the patch website, and that is also through that hyperlink exactly or through the email, and then you have to save your PDF and upload it there. Um, I know some of you have been ambassadors for like six years, which is awesome, but you actually did have to do this initially. It's always been our program protocol. So we thought it was a good opportunity to update everybody's background check since it has been a while um, and get a new updated um, volunteer agreement. If you have any questions on these, please let me know. To be an ambassador, you'll only have to do this once. You'll never have to upload any documents to this again. You just have to do it to be qualified to be an ambassador, which you did before. Um, and some of you asked me about a, the hour question. I saw that from Peter and Nicholas. I am looking into that. I don't think it's a required field, so you don't have to put anybody who's verifying hours, but I will be sure that that's not verified. I mean, required. Thanks, sorry, Mika. No problem. Thank you for putting that. Yes, sorry. Um, forgot to mention, if you are a current ambassador, put that um, on there. Well, otherwise, you will need to schedule a day that works best for you to, to, enter, to set up an interview with Sarah. And then I've already done this, these pieces for the trail ambassador piece, and then I would hit submit qualifications. So if you sign the waiver, your waiver will automatically be approved, but Sarah has to go in there and make sure that you know, whatever forms you had to submit as a trail ambassador are the ones that she needs. Um, so um, it might, you know, be a little bit, if you're a new trail ambassador signing up, it might take, a, um, I wouldn't say too long, but you know, she may just need to take a day or two to go in there and see that and approve that for you. So um, I'll go into how you can see the status of your qualifications a little bit later. Because you guys are already trail ambassadors, many of you tuning in tonight. Um, I will obviously just check your papers, make sure they're good and approve them. And then you can go back to the screen as I just approved Mika. So she can like reload or respond now. Um, okay, well, let me, or just should allow you. Oh, once Sarah has everything approved after you submit your qualifications, it will take you to this page. Um, and all you have to do is just, is just kind of giving you a little bit of a brief overview of what you signed up for. And you would say, um, now, you don't have to re-sign that full waiver again, but you do have to just have a little check mark um, that says, I have, a, I have um, read and agreed to the volunteer waiver. So this is what you have to do every time afterwards. So it's a little bit more steps the first time you do it, but after you do all that, the initial time, the only thing you're gonna have to do is do this check, check box, and then you would say submit opportunity response. Mm -hmm. well, you're officially a trail ambassador. Right, if you are a newer ambassador, I know we have a couple people tuning in who are currently um, set up to have an interview with me um, in the upcoming weeks. Uh, you do have to wait till we do the all qualifications and one of them is the interview. So after that, I will approve your interview and then you'll be able to sign up for the program as well. Anytime you sign up for an, an opportunity, you just get this little box here, you can close it, it's not a big deal. It's just telling you if you want to like, if you're excited about this new volunteer opportunity that you just signed up for, you can share on social media. That's all that's doing. So what you're essentially doing is um, applying to be a trail ambassador. And because you're already approved, I'm going to approve you automatically right away as quick as I can. <laughs> and then once you're approved, you're able to go to that opportunity of trail ambassador and click sign up. So you have to click that button twice because the first time you're not actually being allowed to sign up because you need to submit your background check um, interview, which you've already done, and your um, volunteer agreement. Exactly. The first time you're kind of requesting to sign up for a trail ambassador, and it's only like this for trail ambassadors because there's some extra qualifications. So the first time you're like requesting 
to be, basically you're like applying to be a trail ambassador. So even though it says sign up, you're applying and then you have to do those qualifications. Sarah has to go in there and approve all those qualifications. And then once you're approved, you, you can come back to this page and then you will actually be able to sign up. So I hope that makes sense. And if you have any questions at all and you're not, it's not working or you're not seeing it, I can always, you know, kind of do stuff on my end. Um, so feel free to email me or give me a call and we'll make sure you're get, you'll get set up. Because once you're set up, you'll be good to go. So um, I've signed up for the Trail Ambassador opportunity. I'm going to go back and um, sign up for just one more. So I'm going to go back to that opportunities tab. And I'm going to sign up for one of those cleanup days. So I'm going to do the Earth Day cleanup coming up here. On, actually, here I'm going to do the um, opening trails day cleanup at Fort Canal. So to sign up for that, I would click on it. You know, you, if you want to read about it, feel free to do all that. You know, you can find out more additional details. And then I want to sign up. And so again, the only thing it's going to ask me to do is to check this to say that I have read and agreed to the volunteer waiver. And then I'm going to submit my opportunity response. And now I'm officially signed up for that. Um, cleanup um, event at Fort Canal in April, which is this month. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to show you that. So that is how you sign up officially for opportunities. And I think we're pretty good. Does anybody have any questions about opportunities or um, how to, about the programs or just wanted to make sure before I move on? I think we're good. Um, the next thing that we, I want to show you is how you can add your volunteer hours. So probably the easiest place to do that is you're going to go here at the top where it says add hours and you're going to go ahead and click that. So once you get to this page, um, it says, are these hours in reference to an opportunity you responded to on the site? It really should be yes. You should really never really say no. I would say that's only for special occasions. But for the most part, say yes, and then you're going to click this drop down button. And um, if you're going to be, if you're logging hours as a trail ambassador, you would click that. If, if trail ambassador does not show up here, that's because um, we're still waiting on some of those qualifications we just talked about to be approved. So, um, yeah. yeah. Or, or you didn't do the final, final step after you were totally approved of going back and then clicking sign up. Once that, once you go back and click sign up, the button will turn green like it did for Mika. So you want to make sure You're that officially happens. approved, make sure you go back to sign up again. I know it's kind of like a twice thing, but then yeah. you're good to go forever. <laughs> <laughs> so once you do that, you will see trail ambassador on here and you can select it. You'll put whatever date you want to put, however many hours you have the opportunity to put how many miles travel, but that's not required. You can put a description if you like, again, not required. Plus one hours, trail ambassadors won't really need this section. Um, but um, you will need to answer this question about what sections of the trail are you logging hours for. So you'll just check any that apply and then you would click submit our entry. If you are um, responding to like an event, like an opportunity, like a trail, um, trails day cleanup, um, you don't have to do this. I just want volunteers to be aware of that. Um, SRG will most likely, you know, keep track of your hours if you do respond to that opportunity. So we'll have like an attendance sheet the day of the event, get your name, and then we'll log your hours um, on our end. So it's not something you have to do, you can, but I just wanted to show you just in case you can click that, you know, you can put the date, you can put how many hours. Um, and this time you can do the plus one hours. Um, this is for if, like, let's say you registered for the cleanup day, but you brought two friends with you that didn't pre-register but you wanna make sure you log their hours through the system so that we have an accurate account. You can say, yes, I brought some people with me. I brought three more people with me. Who are these people? Are they family, friends, coworkers? You can put that here. Um, you can skip this question. This is really only for trail ambassadors. And then you would submit our entry. Um, Richard Munyon, should we enter any previous 2021 20 hours? If you already did them on the Google form, you do not need to do them here. I will, I will do that. I'll backlog everything. You'll see many of you um, have your hours, your historical hours from like 20, I think 18, 2017, 18 and 19. So I will do all of the ones in 2020 and 21. You don't have to worry about that. You just have to start now and then move forward with your hour logging. Good question. 
So John Wolf is asking, can you show the dashboard after your hours are entered? There we go. All right, let's go back to the dashboard. So I didn't see any verification question that um, I think Peter and Nick were asking about. So if you guys see that again and it's not required, you don't have to fill it out. We're not, we don't need anybody to verify that you were on the trail. Yeah, you shouldn't have to. I, I, I just went through it and I didn't have to verify with anyone. So hopefully, yeah, that's a glitch. If you're seeing that, please let us know. And um, then before Mika goes back into her training, John asks, um, are we still adding hours in the old system until Sarah completes the approval or are we stashing them for later entry? I'm asking that you stash them for later entry. The current form has been disabled. So you're, you're all signed up, John. I believe I just approved you today. So you can respond and then start typing in your hours right away. And so I think it was John who asked, um, if you go back to your dashboard page, it does now show you your hours, which are pretty cool. Um, it even shows you like your impact money-wise. We calculated like your, your time is very valuable as a, as a volunteer and we appreciate everything that our volunteers do for us. So that's really cool to see that you can see your, your, your you know, your money value of um, your volunteer hours. You can also now see the um, opportunities that I responded to. I can click on that to find out more information. And um, yeah, so yeah, so now the dashboard has been updated. Um, the last thing I'm going to really show you on here is what you can do on your personal profile. So Galaxy Digital, you now have your own personal profile. What you'll do is you'll click this arrow next to your initials at the top of the, of the screen, and you'll click um, View Profile. Um, you can add a picture um, if you want to. Oh, this is like, this is telling me, actually, this is Oh, I forgot what page I was on. So view profile, this is tell, telling you a little bit about what you've entered. So if you're a current or um, you were already a volunteer and then got activated, these questions might not have been answered. I'm not sure about that. I would like one of your, um, one of you to let me know if it asked you what your interests or skills are. If it didn't, you could always go back to this view profile um, section, which you get to from here at the top, and you can go in there and enter your interests. So you'll see a, um, a list of several different options. You can select which ones you want. Let's say I'm really interested in community, I like doing stuff that involves family. Um, I'm really, I really like stuff that has to do with trail maintenance and I can update that. And so now that will help um, me, be, that would help for recommendations about programs and opportunities I might be interested in signing up for. Same thing with skills. Let's, let's, let's say I want SRG to know about certain skills that I have, you know, um, I'm really good um, and personable and I like working in the community. I have some graphic design experience and some photography experience. Um, you know, I can put all that in there, update my skills. And so you can do that as well. And then if you ever wanna like a program, like I said, when you just wanna find updates about that program, um, you become a fan. So just remember, you can do that. Let's say, um, you know, I just became a trail ambassador. And so I wanna make sure I'm always aware of what is happening with the Trail Ambassador program, I can become a fan. So I just wanted to show you how you do all that. Um, go back to that profile section. You can also edit your profile. So you can upload a photo of yourself. Um, if you don't like the password you currently have, you can change that here. Just make sure you click the update buttons anytime you change information on here. Um, if you ever need to change your name or your email or your address, you can change that and then click update basic information. You have some options to do some personalized settings here. One really good thing about Galaxy Digital is that often you'll see this little green question mark here and you can just hover over it to find out what that means. And then if you want to change any of that, you would update settings. You can also de deactivate your account from here. So if you're moving away from the area and you're no longer able to be an SRG volunteer, you can deactivate your account. Just be careful. Once you deactivate your account and you, if you ever need to use this again, you will have to go through that sign up process all over again and re-respond to opportunities like Trail Ambassador Program. So only do that if you're really sure that you want your um, account deactivated. You can also click here and look at your own personal uh, volunteer schedule. So now I should be able to see 
um, any opportunities that I responded to so I can kind of keep track of what I signed up for when. So now you'll see that trails day cleanup that I signed up for. Um, if it's an ongoing opportunity, so there's a difference between ongoing opportunities and opportunities that happen on a specific date. The trail ambassador program is ongoing because that's, you know, um, people can like log hours for that, you know, all through the year. Mainly, I think it's between um, April and September, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so that's ongoing. But if it's a specific day of something like the trails day um, cleanup, you know, you'll see that on here. Um, you can also track your hours from here. It'll take you to that same page. So you can either click this button or click this button on here. It takes you to the same page that we just went to. You can view any files that you upload. So anytime you upload files and you just want to go back and, and need it for any reason, um, that will be housed under this uh, tab. Nika, we have a quick question about the My Files section. Mm -hmm. um, some trail ambassadors specifically were asking, can they upload pictures here? They do have that possibility or capability. Um, do you think that would be beneficial? Um, so pictures, if we're and just are they expect are they sorry um, are they pictures that they want SRG to use and just like for our purposes? Is that the question? Yeah, I'm thinking that it's more so just like nice trail pictures, maybe wildlife on the trail, any and all alerts or issues. Um, should not be uploaded here. If you have pretty pictures that you want to share that Mika can use on Facebook, I think this could be a good place for them for sure. But any alerts need to be um, submitted through either the incident report or we're currently updating a really great um, incident report form on our website. Is that what you yeah. would say? Yeah. That's exactly right. Like, yeah, if it's for it, it's because you're, you're trying to alert us to something that happened on the trail um, I, there's a different way that I'm going to actually talk about a little bit later, um, soon here. Um, but if this is just like, you know, oh, I took a really great photo on the trail. I think it's nice. I think SRG may like to have this and, you know, maybe it's something we want to look at and possibly share on Facebook or social media. Feel free to, um, to do that. The only thing is I'm not sure, Sarah, though, as well, if we actually have I guess we and Sarah do. We do. We will have access to these files. So, um, that would, yeah, I would yeah. say send me an email if you have a good picture and you exactly. could, uh, or if you've uploaded like 10, send an email and say, Sarah, I uploaded some great photos to my portal and I could totally check them out. We have exactly. that ability. Exactly. Yeah. Cause otherwise we just might not go in here and check and see that you uploaded files. But if you send us an email and it was the easiest way for you to share those files, we'd be like, oh, okay, we'll make sure to go in there and check and then use that. So and I see where the verification of hours was happening, Nick and Peter. That was because you were not um, selecting that it's for an opportunity. If you say yes, it's for an opportunity, then for trail ambassadors, you're not prompted with that question. So make sure you select trail ambassador. Dorothy, I'm gonna look into that one second. <laughs> um, opportunity responses, there's a tab for that. So you can look and see what um, opportunities you responded to or signed up for. And you can always click on that and find out more information about it. But that's listed here. The My Teams tab, you won't really need. That's for people who, who want to like do a trail cleanup as a team and they want to do their own um, cleanup. So I won't go too much into that. But if you're ever interested in that, let us know um, and I can let you know more about it. Qualifications. So those, that's what we just talked about um, with like the trail ambassador sign up. Um, so you can go on here and see the status of your uh, qualifications. You know, Sarah went in and, and qualified me for everything, but if it wasn't, it would say pending. And so you would know, oh, Sarah hasn't yet, you know, approved my um, background um, report or my user agreement form. So, okay, that's why I can't officially sign up for that trail ambassador uh, pro, uh, opportunity, sorry. Your inbox, so your inbox is any message. You're always alerted of certain things depending on you know, if you respond to an opportunity or an event on here or you like a program, um, this is where you can go and see all of those messages. This will also go to your email unless you clicked on that um, tab in the settings and ask for it to be turned off, which you do have the ability to do if you don't want anything in your email, you can turn that off um, in your settings um, under that edit profile section that I, um, that I was at before but um, it will still co come here if you ever need to view what messages you receive. 
So, um, but that's pretty much what I wanted to show you on Galaxy Digital. I just want to make sure before I move on to how you would do um, trail alerts or incidents. Um, does anybody have any questions before we move on? So Mika, since you did submit some hours, I was trying to do this on my own end, but Dorothy's question is, how do we fix an entry of hours if we accidentally put in the wrong amount? Say a trail ambassador wanted to put two, but by accident they put 20. Is there a way to edit their hours? John Wolf says he gets a message that says hours cannot be, qualified hours cannot be adjusted or deleted. Okay, John, that means that I will, I'll have to do it, Dorothy. If you have a problem and you submitted something that um, is wrong, please send me an email and I'll make sure to fix it for you. Good question. I didn't think about that. Trying to enter hours for yesterday, unsuccessful. Can you enter hours for yesterday, Mika? Oh, like, okay, do it before. Okay, let's Back see. Track them. What, what I noticed, I guess, what you have to do is you have to select Trail Ambassador first. I was wondering why I wasn't, you know, keeping uh, it that I was putting it here. And then I go to this tab. I don't know why, but okay. <laughs> um, so then you go there. Uh, and then just going to check this. And then let's see what happens. And note, I know there's some extra questions, but note how Mika is just saying. Um, it says, are you sure you want to add more hours? So I'm going to say yes. And then, okay, yeah, let me do it for yesterday. Okay. I was just saying, notice how Mika's only putting in the hour, the day that she did them, the number of hours she did, the program it's for, or I'm sorry, opportunity, which is trail ambassadors, and then the, um, the trail sections. If you want to write your miles traveled or a description. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything that doesn't have a red star, um, you know, this little red icon here is not required. So you don't have to fill in any of that other information on here. Real quick, Mika, I wanted to alert everybody on the call. I've said this in emails too, that we are having a thank you volunteer gathering, socially distant masked in the park at Riverfront Park in Pottstown on May 13th at 530. And I put that under the events. So if you would like to RCP, feel free to RCP there. There it is. And then I'll do a quick little pitch for the um, app on your phone. If someone- Oh, yes. Asking, Sorry, yeah. go over that, Sarah. Oh, and you can say yes, maybe, or decline. So if you want to click yes, Mika, and see what it does, just to make sure. There you go. So your RSVP, if you're able to attend May 13th, 530 to 630, we recommend you bring your own chair. Bring your own mask <laughs> and we'll, we'll be in the park and Julia Hurl, our trails director, will be there and um, we'll be able to hear about all the updates. You know, our usual get together kickoff meeting like we used to do. Um, we're going to do it. Um, the app is available on either, you know, your Google Play Store or your Apple iPhone uh, app store. I don't have an Apple device. Um, and it's called, Jillian, correct me if I'm wrong, Get Connected Volunteer. You. That that sounds right. If you type in Galaxy Digital, it should show up as well. Um, so you have you can go and download that. You have to already be set up on your desktop. You have to already have a login and make sure you're signed up to be a trail ambassador. But once you do all that, you can go on your app and you can actually like start it and do your ride or your walk or your run and then stop it and it'll log the hours for you automatically if you are interested in that. Um, or you can you know kind of easily do them from your phone. That's how you would do it. John, I see your question. I'm going to look into that right now for you, and I'm going to turn it back to Mika. And I think the um, app is called Volunteer Get Connected. So um, hopefully you can find it on the App Store or on uh, Google Play. Okay, so I am going to um, take you to the form that we are going to be using to um, input um, trail alerts or incidents. So this is, it says draft because it's not completely finalized. It's really, really close, but we haven't promoted um, using this yet, but this will be available soon, hopefully by this week. Um, I would say at the latest by next week, but I really think we'll, we'll have this up and ready by this week. So this is on our SRG website and um, uh, we'll send out um, emails to everybody about how you can get to this page. Um, we'll also have a link on Galaxy Digital. So it'll say, hey, have a trail alert to 
um, a trail alert form to submit or something along those lines, and then you'll click on it and it'll bring you to this page as, as what we're going to do in Galaxy Digital. It will also be on our Skook, on our Skook River Trail pages, so um, we wanna, we'll want to try to make it as easy to find as possible once it's ready to go live. But um, once you get to this page, you just have a message here that says, please call 911 for emergencies. Um, so if there's ever an emergency, you know, please contact the police first, but we would also like to be aware of it just because we like to know what's happening on the trail. So once you've called the police and given them all the information, we would really appreciate it if you return to this form and submit information about that alert. So um, this is the, uh, the alert or incident report. Um, you'll list your name, your phone, and then you have the option if you wanted to also list your email. And then you're gonna let us know whether this, a, this is a trail safety alert or an other incident or condition. You can read here to find out more about what is the difference between a trail safety alert or um, an incident or condition. You can click on it. And so um, you'll see, more options come up when you click trail safety alert. Um, is this a tree or, do, or is something falling on the trail? Um, is this about the trail surface condition? Is this about flooding? Or if it's not one of these things, you can click the other button and let us know what this is. Um, the next step is you'll tell us the location of the trail safety alert. You have the option to let us know what county this is in. Um, we want to know if this is blocking the trail. Um, sometimes we just like to know if it's, you know, preventing access of the trail. And then also has this safety alert been resolved? We know sometimes volunteers, if it's like a small tree or a branch or something, you might go ahead and move it somewhat off of the trail. Um, so if, that, if that's the case, just let us know and say yes and explain, you know, hey, I was able to get some of this off the trail, but it still needs to be picked up or, or whatever that scenario may be. And then you can also upload um, files, um, photos of the alert. So if you took pictures of it, which are always really, really helpful to us, you can do that. And then you would click the submit button. Um, you would do the same thing if it's um, in that incident or conditions category. This is for if you want to report if there's a motorized vehicle on the trail, um, if there's a missing or vandalized sign along the trail, if there's trash, if there's potentially dangerous, uh, a potentially potentially dangerous wildlife sighting. Um, again, if it's not one of these categories, you would click other, let us know what that is, then please give a description um, and let us know the location of this incident or condition. Um, and then also you can tell us what county this is in. You'll let us know, has this issue been resolved? Um, if yes, you'll just get prompted to kind of explain a little bit further. Um, you again have the option to um, upload a photo. You can do this right from your phone. This is a mobile friendly form. Um, so you can do all of this from your phone as well. And then um, if you're um, reporting a motorized vehicle on the trail, um, we just uh, ask that, you know, thank you for letting us know. Please hit the submit button. But also, you know, you may want to let the local police know so that they're aware and give them details about time and location. So um, that's the form, and we hope that this is going to be up pretty soon.